Um, we have two, three angles up there, right? And what we want to do is we need to find the value of 6, 7, and 8. So they give us help. They say measure of angle 8 is 47 degrees. So I'm going to write that in. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to understand. One thing they say, uh, 6 and 8, which was over there, are complementary angles. Meaning complementary angles, remember, add up to 90 degrees. So if I want to find the measure of angle 6, I can write an expression saying measure of angle 6 plus measure of angle 8 equals 90 degrees. Well, I just told you measure of angle 8 is 47 degrees plus measure of angle 6 equals 90. So now what I can do is subtract 47. What I get is measure of angle 6 is going to equal, uh, let's see, 43. So now I can plug that in right here. So, so far I have measure of angle 8 equals 47, measure of angle 6 equals 43, and now I need to figure out how am I going to figure out the measure of angle 7? Well, there's a really important thing that we see here is we see a straight line. And whenever we see a straight line, we have a straight angle. And what we notice is once we have a straight angle, what we do is we know that the, an, the, ang, the, the measure of a straight angle is 180 degrees. So I can write another equation saying that measure of angle 6 plus measure of angle 7 plus measure of angle 8 equals 180 degrees because that's what the a measure of a straight angle is. Well, the measure of angle six is 43, plus measure of angle seven, we're trying to figure out, and measure of angle eight is 47. Well, therefore, equals 180. I know that these two combined equals 90, so it's measure of angle seven plus 90 equals 180, right? Because it said that these two angles add up to 90. Then I can subtract 90, and I get measure of angle 7 equals 90 degrees. And there you go. Now we've solved all three angles. And that's it.